Today I want to talk about something that comes up quite often. I get this question from customers all the time. What's the difference between Rockwood and Flagstaff? So I'd like to address that. And I'd like to start by talking about the history behind it. So Rockwood was founded in 1975 and Flagstaff was started in 1988. They were two different companies. They were under the same parent company. They weren't under Forest River at the time. Forest River hadn't started yet, but uh, I believe it was a company called Cobra or something like that. And what happened was in 1996, Forest River purchased uh, both companies, purchased Rockwood and Flagstaff. Now at the time, dealers were Rockwood dealers, Flagstaff dealers. And um, instead of say dropping one of the lines, cause they were very similar. Instead of dropping the line of one going with another, they decided let's consolidate and standardize the lines. But what they did was they decided to uh, keep, make the same floor plans, but make them a little bit different. And it's that little difference that is still true today. So a Rockwood and a Flagstaff um, are actually, they're gonna be the same model, built in the same factory, the same floor plans. And every Rockwood has a corresponding Flagstaff. So the brands are the different types of Rockwoods and Flagstaff. They have their corresponding one. So like the Rockwood Rue, for example, has the Flagstaff Shamrock. Those are the hybrids. The Mini Light has Flagstaff Micro Light. The Geo Pro has Flagstaff E Pro. The Ultra Light has the Super Light. And the Signature has the Classic. So Flagstaff Classic, Rockwood Signature. And each model has a corresponding model under Flagstaff. The difference, and really the only difference, other than the name, is the fact that Rockwood and Flagstaff have different colors. Different exterior colors, different graphics, different interior fabrics in some cases. Sometimes different floor, different linoleum, or uh, different countertops, but at the very least, it really just boils down to colors colors in the name. So a Rockwood dealer can't also be a Flagstaff dealer, but you can have a Rockwood and a Flagstaff dealer near each other. And that's part of, I think, the reason why they kept it the way they have. They have Rockwood, Flagstaff as basically the same product with different colors. So in a territory that belongs to a Rockwood dealer, you can have a Flagstaff dealer. Now I'd like to just look at their websites and just show you just exactly how similar, basically the same, they are. We're gonna start with the Geo Pro first. Now they have a little write-up at the beginning of every um, brand, and along with the standard features, and you're gonna find the E Pro and Geo Pro. They have different, um, they have different little write-ups at the beginning, but same standard features, same, um, floor plans. And with the Geo Pros, actually, and actually here, I'm just going between the two, just so you can see the different graphics and how similar they are. With the Geo Pro, it's pretty easy to tell um, different models because they kept the numbers. So a 16BH in a Geo is the same as a, a 16BH in a E Pro. And then the uh, Flagstaff and the Rockwood uh, Mini Light and Micro Light Slightly different graphics, slightly different colors, but again, same floor plans. A little bit more um, complicated because their models are way different, like 2109S in a mini light, 21FBRS. Those are the same floor plan, but both 21s, but uh, different, different numbers. And you can see 4171 for the mini light, 4171 unloaded weight for the micro light. And all those all those specs are the same. 
they're built the same specifications, same factory, same quality. And then, the, of course, the Flagstaff Superlight, Rockwood Ultralight. And with, um, you know, different graphics. I wanted to look at the difference between the Rockwood 2608 BS, which is a front kitchen, rear bedroom. Probably the most popular ultralight travel trailer that we've had in the last year. So you can see unloaded weight. Um, can pause it, of course. 6836 on the super light unloaded weight. Hitch weight 946. Of course, the length is going to be the same. Width's the same. Yep. 946 hitch. 6836 unloaded weight. So then you go to the Rue. Now the Rue and the Shamrock, they're just like the Geo where their models are the same. Um, very easy to tell the difference because a 19 Rue is a 19 Shamrock. And like 233S, they're all the same. So with the Geos and the Rues, the Shamrocks and uh, the E-Pros, pretty easy to tell the difference. And there's an example of the Rue current graphics just different graphics, folks, different colors. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.